Another year brings another list with some of the best manga released, so check out the top 10 manga from 2022 that you need to start reading right now. Don't forget to subscribe. It has been scientifically proved that when you subscribe to WebTV, your mail is never cancelled. Gachi Hakuta is trash, but not the kind of trash you're thinking of. Ruda lives in a dystopian society where the concept of repair doesn't exist. If it is broken, then it's trash. And all trash ends up in the abyss, a never-ending cliff engulfed by darkness. Ruda fights to make a living digging through the junk in the society. Because of that, he's seen as a vendor in the eyes of the community, a misshapen piece that someone forgot to throw out. Ruda's only family is Resto, a crude but sweet man who tries to raise him. Sadly, Resto is killed and Ruda is branded as his killer. As all garbage, Ruda is thrown out into the abyss. That's when our protagonist's journey starts. Gachi Akta is a fantasy full of mysteries and anger. The garbage land and its monsters create a unique universe matched by its highly detailed art style. It's so good that it won't surprise me if it receives an anime adaptation at the start of 2023. Meguro knows he will die, but he's okay with that. His family died when he was still a child. For a long time, he didn't believe that his life was meant to be happy and cursed the gods for denying all the blues in his life. One day, he found a small shrine. In it, a white snake that said it was a god. Kurohibe explained that he was able to predict the future. With this power, Meguro turned his life around. He managed to fight and conquer the love of his life. Sarah, Meguro's childhood friend, became his girlfriend and the happiness that had been denied so much was finally back. Unfortunately, everything has an end. As the snake warned that Meguro would die, he simply accepted. Of course, he wasn't made to be happy, but at least he had the chance to be by Sarah's side for a short period. To soften the blow Sarah would take, Meguro decides to break up with her. Then, when he died, she wouldn't suffer as much. Stage as starts with a punch in the gut. And at that exact moment, when arriving in the other world, Meguro discovers that Sarah would die in the next 100 days. As a final request to Kurohibe, he asked him to return for the following days so he could protect Sarah. This is how our story begins. Stage S is not a manga for everyone. It mixes shonen, seinen and romance themes. It's a manga that, while it offers action, it is really sad. It discusses the simplicity of fate and how luck isn't always in our side. See this? Imagine this is you. Yeah. Now imagine that you woke up someday and now you have horns. This is the start of Ruri Dragon. Ruri is an average student, but one day her body starts to change, but not the kind of change you expect. After growing horns, Ruri's moms confess that her father is a dragon and more transformations are about to come. Ruri now has to face some complex situations in her life, like one day she spits fire on the back of a friend. Those changes frighten Ruri, even though people around her treat it like an everyday thing, she feels out of place and worries about what people will think of her. Ruri Dragon brings a fresh air to the slice of life genre. It puts an extraordinary situation on everyday lands. Besides that, the interaction between Ruri and Mom is captivating as they go through Ruri's journey. Reizu was just another salary man coming home when he suffered a heart attack. I know, I know, it seems just like another isekai. But wait a moment, he's reborn in another world, but without the same look of all isekai protagonists. Instead, he's born into a family of farmers in a bankrupt country. His family is starving and his siblings die without any aid. His only option is to enlist in the army. Then, at least his family would be guaranteed some food at home. Rooted off to a new life without the rose-colored glasses that all manga have. Instead, he'll live the hard life of being just another soldier. Of course, there are skills and spells. But don't expect to see gaming systems or level ups. This is the same way of approaching Isekai. This manga will show Reizu's development in the army and the inner battle of having to take another person's life. Its art and combat are very similar to Drifters, which also take a raw approach to the reality of war. It currently has only 5 chapters, but promises to be a great work that, until now, few know. Everybody wants to be loved, so even if you think right now, yuck, girls, maybe someday you will be simping for that goth girlfriend. Professional killers are not different. Jero comes from a family that specializes in poisoning their victims. He's no ordinary killer, far from that. Jero is famous in the underworld, allowing him to choose who will be his victims. 
our protagonist expresses that he's not interested in love, and his lineage would die with him. That puts the family elders in a bad spot, forcing his sister to break up with her girlfriend to conceive a child. During a job, Jerry decides that he'll marry his current victim, a marriage swindler at death store. Maybe because of the pressure of his family, or because he's falling in love with the cutie in front of him. Nobody understands a man's heart, right? After saving the girl, he discovers that she's actually a man. Well, that's the start of Jerry's adventure. Marriage Toxin is hilarious, and the sprinkles of craziness of Jerry's world make it even more entertaining as a professional assassin sets on a journey searching for love. This is the story of a boy, some nameless poor child, and the greatest test imposed on him. He must prevent Satan from dominating the earth. Although very young, the boy is a genius. He knows every Bible passage and he is blessed by all angels. However, he is simply a boy. When he first exit from the church, he is attacked by one of the most dangerous demons, to which he offers his life to stop the attack. But he goes beyond that. More than willing to offer his life, the boy hopes that he can one day die in combat and finally have peace. Peace from the abuse of his parents who abandoned him. Peace from those who were jealous of his powers. Peace from the church that trained him cruelly. He's just a boy who's never known love. This manga is complex and full of layers. Although on the surface it might be a more straightforward shonen story, he goes into detail about sacrificing for something greater, the search for love, and debating what is really right or wrong, virtue or sin. Kyu is a prodigy who has lost the will to put in the effort. Now his biggest challenge is trying to get precisely the grade he wants. After having his younger brother kidnapped, Kyu, who was once full of life, began to feel more and more that life has no meaning and that it's not worth the effort. Until one day, a smartphone appeared in his backpack. This device can answer any question, and information he wanted would be there. But he's not the only one with a super smartphone. He will have to compete with other people. Only the one with the most points will control all the information in the world. And maybe that's the way to find Q's brother. Super Smartphone is a manga with an unusual plot. Still, it has very similar traits to Death Note and Platinum End, where several people will have to use their intellect to come out in the top in the competition. So far, the manga has only 16 chapters, but it has to manage to tie the plot well and make each challenge exciting. Relax, relax, this manga doesn't have an literary. Although, betrayal will be the spark to start our story. After a lot of effort, you manage to date Karen. She's the cursed name. But shortly after the start, he discovers that she's cheating on him with one of her seniors from college. What could be just another romance story done its craziness to 11. When you, in a moment of madness, calls Toko, the girlfriend of Karen's affair partner. Does it make sense? See the infographic here, got it? Moving on. In the call, still furious about everything he discovered, he asks to have sex with Toko and explains everything that happened. Obviously, Toko denies it, but seeks to understand more. Both then decided to prepare the biggest revenge of their lives. The manga is an adaptation of a novel which is doing very well. Although it's thought as a revenge story, it will gradually migrate to a slice of life romance between Toko and Yu. Unfortunately, the manga has still only 6 chapters, and as a good addict, I had to read the light novel, but be sure to check it out. Elmo is part of the one of the most prestigious families in the Empire, being trained since childhood to be a sword saint. But a bug happened while selecting his class. Memories of his past life return and he ends up becoming a half knight, one of the worst classes. But luckily he has memories of playing a game exactly like this world systems. Because of his class, Emma is exiled executed by all his family members. The exile reincarnated half knight is another isekai like all the others. But he has a good execution. It's like eating pizza. It's familiar, simple, but quite satisfying. It's worth to spend some time and have fun. Sasaki is just another salaryman tired of the day-to-day -day work. His greatest pleasure is to go to the supermarket and be served by Amada. The attendant's smile is enough to give him energy for another shift of endless work. But one day, when he tried to smoke in front of the supermarket, he was forbidden. But a girl called him to the back of the establishment, where they could smoke in peace. Tayama was the opposite of Yamada, being more spontaneous and speaking directly to Sasaki. What Sasaki didn't know was that Yamada and Tayama were the same person. 
A story about smoking at the back of the supermarket is one of the cutest and simplest slice of life stories in the recent years. It will follow the slight-hearted romance between Sasaka and Yamada as they live life and spend some bucolic moments in the back of the supermarket. Well, this is the top 10. Leave below in the comments if there is any manga from 2022 that I haven't talked about it and why it is so good. For more content about anime, manga and memoir, click on the subscribe button and see ya weeps!